So far we have only discussed the stationary phase, and this of course can only be modified by changing the column. An expensive and an often time consuming option. The power of HPLC, however, is the ability to change the mobile phase and therefore change the separation. In this animation, we still have the liquor shops, but what if we could modify the moving walkway? Not the speed of the walkway, but the nature of the walkway. For example, instead of just having a boring plain walkway, what if we could start to put bottles of wine on the walkway? The tourist now might start to think, I can pick up this wine more easily by staying on the walkway, so I don't have to spend as, mu as much time in the shops. So let's drop quite a few bottles of wine on the walkway and see what happens. The result is that all the tourists never enter the shops because the moving walkway can now satisfy their needs. In fact, because they never enter the shops, they now all spend the same amount of time on the moving walkway and exit together. No separation. In chromatography terms, the tourists all exit at the unretained time. That is T0, the time that we discussed in the first e-learning module titled Fundamentals of HPLC. So from here, if we want to entice the tourists to spend some time in the shops, we need to decrease the amount of wine on the moving walkway.